Okay, so it's me again. Um, I'm gonna show you today how to do the smooth zoom transition, but slower again. I just went ahead and put two random clips here. First, just put, the, put them on the timeline. Well, I'm gonna take just the end of this one in the sound. So yeah, it looks like this, it's beautiful, and then this. So for this one, I'm gonna zoom on the first to go on the second. So if I just come here and look for transform, again, always transform. Let's put it here, go to the end, I don't know, a few, a few frames. I don't really care how many. And then I'm gonna zoom, uh, zoom in about maybe 200, and on the second one, I want it to be zoomed in. So except that, that, like, I can't, I don't want to zoom this image because I would miss too much of it. So I want the outer part to be something. But if I take transform right now, and I say I want it zoomed out, well, there's only black around, and you don't want black. So I'm just gonna. Go here and extract frame to project. And shit, I haven't saved this. I'm gonna save it first. And then I'm gonna modify it with GIMP, so edit clip. And I've changed my property so that it opens GIMP right away. You can change that in the settings. And then here, I'm gonna make a bigger picture. So I'm gonna change the canvas size to I don't know, something bigger, uh, maybe 3,000, something like that, center, yeah, a bit more, uh, maybe, something like that, center, and that's good. Then I'm gonna take my layer and duplicate it uh, eight times, well, seven times, so that I can have eight Parts around so one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. On most um, editing softwares, you actually have some some effect that can do this, but as far as I know, there isn't on, on Cadena Live. So I'm making this. Then you choose the mirroring stuff, and I'm gonna change the first six with this one and then change to vertical and change the last six yeah it's moving under so I don't see it but I know it it's moving Up. Um, and then I'm gonna move the um, the layers kind of how I want them to be so yeah, this one in the corner. So yeah, the four that you have moved twice are gonna be in the corners and the others, yeah, on the sides. And I'm not moving the last one because that's the alignment, I need to align them with it. And yeah, up. And yeah, you can see that it's all very smooth and beautiful. It's like a reflection. And you can zoom in as well, as much as you want, so you, if you zoom in much more, it's much easier. Okay. And the last one is the hardest one, because you don't really have anything to... And if you see each pixel, it's easier, you see. And that's good. And so I'm selling that. I'm just overriding the old one. So that's when I'm coming back to Cadena Live. It's here and it's all good. It's gonna update in a, while, in a minute. Yeah, it's all good. And so I can put that here and have it for a few frames. I don't know how many yet, but yeah, that's the thing. And well, I'm gonna start by working on that one. So I wanna zoom in on it. 
So at first, for example, it's gonna be like that. I think it, that's a good, good zoom. And in the end, I want it to be totally hidden. So I'm just gonna try some things and see how, if it's too much or not enough. So that's too much, for example. And so I'm gonna go less. I think that's good. And center it both ways. And so now you have something that is like zoomed in and you want to fill it in the black, the black part. So at first, yeah, you take the transform effect again. And here it's going to be like that. That's, that's good. And here you want it to be filling the blank. So I want it smaller. So about maybe 60%. I don't know. Smaller. Let's try 50. That's too small. So yeah, something in between. And you could go like, not, not guessing, but to be honest, it's not that hard to just try it out. And it's all good. Well, you can see that like in the corner here, there's a bit of an issue, but if it's fast, so you don't really see it. It's just because the, it changes color, you know. And well, I think that's it. Uh, now you can like smooth out the points. And the same here. Smooth out, smooth out, smooth out. Everything smooth. And I hope that it didn't like ruin it. Let's try it. Zoom, 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 zoom. And I'm gonna render just this little part here uh, with the preview render. Um, you can like there's a bit of um, you can see it too much, so I need to zoom it out, zoom it less. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna totally cheat because I'm lazy as fuck. And well, one hundred and twenty-four and sixty-eight. I'm gonna go there. One hundred and twenty-four. And 68, I said. Is it okay? A bit bigger here. 68.5. Shit, it's a color. And centered again. And that's all good. So how does that look? I think that looks good. I'm gonna try and preview render again. And I think that's, well, that's not fast enough. So I'm gonna move that a bit to a bit more this way. And that one I'm gonna move a little bit to. And that one too. And a small, yeah. And preview re render again. Let's try it. That's better. You could try and make it more smooth, like just move around the keyframes. Like I think this one is too zoomed, the first one maybe. So I'm gonna do it like maybe 170. Center. And then if I still don't like it, I can do something like um, adding some dissolve here. And this, just put it on Composite and transform so that like it all moves at one. Maybe if I preview under again. To be honest, you just have to try it and just keep doing it. And at one point, it will look okay, I guess. And that's it. Well, I hope you like this. And bye bye. Feel free to request anything. <laughs>